Disney is extremely good at keeping secrets and surprises. We hear a rumor here or a whisper there, but to find out if it's really true, we have to wait for Disney to confirm it. One of Disney's favorite venues to announce these new things is at the D23 Expo. Disney's official fan club expo feels like it happens every two years, but in reality, it's every single year. We just get it in California every other year. D23 has amazing exhibits, really cool panel discussions, and even conversations with Imagineers who created the attraction. Actions. But the big event that we all wait for usually happens on the last day, where the president of Disney Parks and usually the CEO of the Disney Company will come on stage and tell us about what's coming soon. Given the rumors and blue sky renders and even subtle hints that Disney drops from time to time, today I'm going to go over my predictions as to what Disney will likely be announcing and giving us more details about at D23 2019. First and foremost, Disney will no doubt tell us all about Star Wars Galaxy. Galaxy's Edge. D23 takes place from August 23rd to August 25th this year, so that means that Disneyland Star Wars Galaxy's Edge should be open by that time. So it's likely Disney will tell us all about the success that Star Wars Galaxy's Edge has had. Disney will no doubt go into great detail to tell us about how it was constructed, maybe give us some behind the scenes look from the construction, and no doubt tell us all about Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Walt Disney World. And I wouldn't be surprised if we actually got an opening date at D23 for the Walt Disney World Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, but that's a maybe. I have a feeling like when Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opens, it will be far too crowded for Disney to add those little touches that they're hoping to add, like the droids rolling through the streets and maybe even some of those live stage shows. But it's likely that Disney will give us more details about the future of this brand new land at D23 as well. In addition to the land itself, Disney will no doubt be giving us more details about the Star Wars Resort currently under construction by behind Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Walt Disney World. I would love to see more concept art, which I think is extremely likely, along with some details about how guests will get from the resort to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. We keep hearing about some special shuttle where you feel like you're transporting from space to the land. It's going to be so cool. And I also would love to see more of those animated pictures, maybe with the dog fights out the windows, and perhaps, but I, I super doubt this one, maybe something about the price, but I doubt it. I, I don't think that's gonna happen but I wish it would. Now, moving beyond Star Wars, Disney will no doubt tell us more about the Skyliner gondola system currently in testing at Walt Disney World. We'll definitely see some footage of the gondolas in action, and maybe, just maybe, Disney will include some footage of what it's like to be inside the gondola car as you're going from a park to a resort to another park. We all wanna know when the gondola will open at Walt Disney World. I'm hoping they give us the date. They may give us kind of an approximate date, but I have a feeling no matter what the date is, they'll probably be a soft opening a few days before. In addition, we'll hear all about Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which is supposed to open at Hollywood Studios this year. I would bet that we'll see more artist renderings and perhaps maybe some on-ride footage, maybe. Now moving on to Epcot, and let's start with the rides first. There is no doubt we will hear more about the Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster and the new Remy ride. It's extremely likely that we'll see more artist renderings and perhaps even get a time frame for when these rides will open. Cross your fingers. If they just gave us a time frame like Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, that would help a lot, like maybe spring or summer 2020, which is my guess, just based on construction and other things happening at Walt Disney World, but we'll just have to wait and see. In addition to the rides, there is no doubt we'll hear much more about the future of Epcot. Almost two years ago, Disney Disney gave us a blue sky render of what the future of Epcot might look like. I would imagine that we're going to see an updated blue sky render and perhaps some more details and maybe even projected timeframes for construction. How will these changes affect Epcot? What will become of Innoventions, Mouse Gear, Club Cool? I can't answer these questions, but I hope Disney does. No matter what happens though, I am relatively confident at this point that my favorite character at Epcot, Figment, will continue to be the star of the show. I'm very happy about that decision. That deduction comes from the merchandise and magnets that I see Figment prominently featured on nowadays. I have a feeling like he is here to stay. Whether he gets his own ride or maybe just a guide through Future World or a part of another ride, I don't know what it is, but I'm glad he's a part of Epcot. In addition, there is no doubt we'll hear all about the new fireworks shows, yes, plural, coming to Epcot by the end of the year. Illuminations is going away, and that doesn't get any easier to say, and there are two replacements that Disney has for it. The first one is a bit of a 
throwback fireworks show. I'm hoping for some veggie veggie fruit fruit, cranium command, and a lot of figment. And the second one is the permanent replacement. We'll hear all sorts of details about that. Moving on to Disneyland and other Disney parks around the world that can currently use the Marvel franchise in the parks. I have no doubt we'll hear more about the Marvel themed areas that are being built at Disneyland in California, Hong Kong Disneyland, and Disneyland Paris. I'm still holding out hope that Disney will be able to trade some of the newly acquired 21st Century Fox IPs, which is not totally done yet, but it's almost there, to Comcast, and in exchange, Comcast, which owns Universal, would allow Disney to build some Marvel themed areas at Walt Disney World. Cross your fingers, but we will not hear a thing about it at D23 this year. Now on to a big question mark, the 50th anniversary of the Magic Kingdom. October 1st, 2021 is the 50th anniversary of the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World, meaning that Disney has two more years and another D23 Expo to make more announcements, but I have a feeling we might hear some sneak peeks about new nighttime parades, special meet and greets, maybe even some castle decorations, but you never know. I know there are some who really enjoyed the birthday cake design for Cinderella Castle and some who really did not, but no matter how you feel about it, there is no doubt that Disney will do something special with Cinderella Castle for the 50th. I'm thinking maybe draped in gold. Somehow, something to do with gold. Disney will probably give us a few hints as to what's happening for the 50th anniversary of the Magic Kingdom, but we definitely won't get it all. One thing I'd love to hear more about is the Tron Light Cycle Ride coming to the Magic Kingdom. So far, we've seen a little bit of construction, but but nothing major quite yet. Maybe after D23, the construction will really pick up, or maybe it will take many more years. I'm hoping also for a time frame, but I wouldn't hold your breath for that. Disney has been very busy building a lot of new resorts over the past two years since the last D23 Expo, and I have a feeling we won't only hear an overview of what's coming soon, we'll also get some behind the scenes looks and probably some new renders. It's likely we will hear quite a bit about the new Riviera Resort, we'll hear a little bit about Reflections, the new nature resort, and a bit Bit about Grand Destino at Coronado Springs. I know we see new buildings and resorts popping up left and right, but I honestly would not be surprised if we heard about even more coming soon at D23. No rumors about that, but maybe. I know it feels like a lot of resorts, but during the peak season, these resorts do fill up. But I'm thinking to myself, with more resorts, you need more things for guests to do. So that means more expansions, and maybe in the long-term future, not D23 2019, a fifth gate. Not right away, that is way long away but it's a thought. On top of all of that, there is no doubt that Disney will take some time to tell us about the three new Disney cruise ships being built right now. We won't hear about any of the names. They'll save that for the naming ceremony, but maybe we'll hear about some of the new amenities on board the ship, something new in the staterooms, maybe even a new theme like a food and wine festival on board a ship, maybe. And perhaps for the 2021 ship, they may tell us which port that ship calls home. No guarantees on that one, but I would love to know. Now, there are several very subtle rumors that we have heard about a Zootopia land, maybe Indiana Jones land coming to Animal Kingdom, perhaps a new country and maybe new rides at Epcot. These things I would consider wild cards. Will these wild card rumors come true? Only a few Disney executives know for sure, but I do know one thing. Disney is very good at surprising us at these events and giving us something that none of us saw coming. Those are my predictions for the 2019 D23 Expo. Now, many friends have asked me, Michael, will you be attending this year? I can can confidently tell you I'm not sure. I would love to go, I really would, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. There are just so many factors at play. If we can, it will be amazing. If not, we'll stream the whole thing from right here and share our reactions together. Let me know if you're planning on going to D23 2019, what you think of my predictions, and if one of the wild card predictions were to come true, which one would have you jumping up and down with excitement? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day. Thank you.